How's it going everybody? It's Afro DJ Mac and I want to show you a quick way on how to make drum fills using the beat repeat. So I got this little track playing and I'm going to switch to just a little drum break that I like to improvise and make little, uh, you know, kind of like drum fill, drum solo parts. So it sounds something like this. So that's your basic idea. What I have done is I have four different beat repeats and they are right here and they correspond to these four knobs on this instrument rack. And they also correspond to these buttons on my MPK Mini. So all I'm doing with these buttons is turning the beat repeats on and they turn off as soon as I let go. So I have a momentary control, just turning on the power button and letting go. Now here's how you have to set up your beat repeat. So let's look at this one here, the eighth note. I got it turned on here. You want to make sure your repeat button is turned on. This means that as soon as beat repeat is activated, that it will repeat the audio it receives instantly. So you have to time it right. Um, you can kind of be off. You know, I just got a hi-hat that time, kick drum. So your timing is crucial with that method. Um, but what you're doing is as soon as that activates, you have this on repeat, you want to make sure it's set to insert, which is this button here. That means that it will cut off the incoming signal and only output whatever is being repeated. If you were to switch this to mix, it would mix in the repeat with the incoming. And if you switch this to gate, you would only get the repeats. For this purpose, we want insert. And then we just set up the timing we want. So I have one set up for eighth notes, one set up for 16th notes over here, one set up for this one we'll talk about later. And this one is 32 notes, but I also have the variation knob going. So when I hit this one, you get slight variations based on this knob. Um, but I also have the note, this um, one here, with the set at eighth notes, but it's got variations and I can sometimes get triplets out of this. It's a little random. There we go. But basically, all I've done is just set up a couple beat repeats and set them up to knobs so I can do things like... Now, what's also fun too is you set up a few uh, other effects that you can turn and play around with while you do your notes. So I get a filter. That's a cool effect. I got a bit crusher. And you can get some interesting effects by turning a knob and activating your beat repeat. So it's a cool way to do some quick fills. There's some slight randomness if you activate the variation knob and you can have it exactly where you want just by putting the grid at the interval you want. Eighth notes. I'm sorry, 16th notes, 8th notes, and this is my variation, which gives me a little bit of randomness. Hope that helps, and enjoy. <laughs> 